Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel, and welcome to my Evisualign set number 11. Um, now, first things first, I must apologise, because actually tomorrow I am... My dental scan is tomorrow, and I will go over to set 12, so my aligner set 12. But I do have a very, very good reason why I have been delayed for doing my Evisualign uh, tray 11. I've been on holiday, so... Um, that's thrown a few things into the works, actually, with the liners. So I went to, got the absolute utmost privilege to be able to visit the Greek island of Kos, um, and I've only just come back. So that was absolutely amazing. And um, forgive me, I'm in the most hottest room ever. It's been amazing to have a lovely, lovely week away and come back to really, really lovely weather here. I live in the southwest of England, and we've got some really high temperatures here, which is really very nice. It is quite a shock to the system i have to admit it's very very humid here now i love the heat the hotter the better um but when you're trying to do work in things in humid <laughs> in humid conditions it can be a little bit problematic you could say now i don't need my hearing aids in for this clip um but i usually wear hearing aids and the humidity is really playing havoc with my hearing aids at the moment so if anybody's wondering or notices he hasn't got his hearing aids in that is because they are starting to irritate my ear uh, and i only just and just got back um Perfectly fine on flights, perfectly fine, had a really, really amazing time, no problem at all. But as soon as I get back here, um, problem with the hearing aids. So, yeah, not very good. <laughs> but let's get to aligners. So set number 11, how did it go? No problems at all. Do you know what? I barely knew I had my uh, aligner number 11 in at all. Had no discomfort. I think my most painful ones were around 6, 7, and 8. 9... I think, and I may be getting a little bit muddled up now, but since I've changed sort of like double figures, so 10 into 11, no problem at all. Um, I can really see the change. So why I originally had them is the arch here, and you can see um, I've got quite a talent moment, so it makes my teeth uh, stand out, and you can see that the side here, that arch, um, a lot of my subscribers will know, or who's been watching my liner journey, is that I, I had them because I was going through some things health-wise in the background, and then I went for my, uh, I noticed uh, that I was having a bit of a, a collapse on one side and my teeth were coming inwards. Um, so I went and had a checkup and it was exactly that. Um, and they said that it could be because of the things which I was going through investigations in the background, um, but they couldn't be 100% certain, um, but they could do something about it for me. So that's why I started my aligner journey, one of 14, and we're now on number 11. I had a uh, teeth straightening treatment um, through Damon braces, actually. Um, why Damon braces? When I was... I want to say when I was about 19, and I had them on for about 18 months, probably nearly two years. Had a really great experience, but it's only been about this last nine months where I've noticed, well, I say that, I've been having them on since January, so about nine months back from that, I was noticing a change. Um, partly, actually, when I was doing my channel, I could see that there was some change coming inwards. But we're on a line number 11, and as you can see, I am really, really happy with the results already. If they were to come off today, I would be absolutely overjoyed with the results already. But it's really nice to know that um, I have got, uh, I've got 12, 13 or 14 uh, to go. So yeah, really, really looking forward to that. Um, how was it when I was away? Do you know what? It was the first time in the experience since having these in January. I did find it a little bit, a little bit sort of bothersome because I was going out having a uh, doing all sorts of adventures of, of cross cars and it was amazing absolutely love greece so uh different restaurants tavernas that type of thing evenings um n it was never a problem with the liners but the thing i found the most a little bit not even bothersome but not even embarrassing but just slightly awkward in a restaurant full of people and i tried this all different ways i had like a small satchel bag with me so literally holding a napkin up and i clipped the bottoms out clipped the top out and then i wrapped them in that and put them in the back <laughs> really really quickly but i never actually got into um a routine where that looked okay. It very much looked like I was doing this. Um, so yeah, but I tried and then in the end what I was doing is just as I was coming in, I would quickly discreetly take them out, which probably sensibly I should have done before I sat down. Um, so that was great. Uh, but yeah, no pain, no discomfort. I had an amazing time, amazing, amazing holiday. Uh, celebrated the recovery of my mum since her um, major surgery this year. Celebrated the incredible life of my dear Nan. It would have been her 97th birthday whilst I was away. Um, it breaks my heart that she's not here. Um, 
um, was with my incredible mum, and that's my nan's daughter. We always had a very, very special, special bond. Um, unfortunately, my father couldn't be with us on this trip, um, but it was really, really lovely. Uh, it was really nice. Forgive me, I'm absolutely sweltering. And I can feel it coming off my face as I'm talking. Um, but all the family couldn't uh, come on this trip. But prior to that, my mum and my dad had been away just several weeks in Paphos, and we come back, and um, I just really cannot be here when it was my nan's birthday because just before that um we lost my nan on 31st of may 2021 and it then was my nan's birthday on the 5th of june so we very much went from planning her birthday party to planning her funeral um so very very tough very very difficult um but we we paid we paid great homage to my to my nan and she's always with me and and i'm just so privileged in this life that the lord blessed me with incredible parents and my dear nan uh, because she's at the parent table for me in my heart anyway and um that for all eternity she'll be my nan and i know she's up above with the lord watching over me and you know what strangely enough when i had braces and they were wired my nan always used to call them diamonds on my teeth she did and um yeah, and she always used to say, and she always used to say about how they used to shine in things, and bless her, she always used to make a joke, and it, it was lovely. I just, so many magical, very, very heartfelt, treasured memories. Um, so you had a fantastic time away. Aligners didn't get in the way at all. It was just a little bit, as I say, awkward going in restaurants and things. Um, but yeah, so no pain, no discomfort. The results are great. This is only just a quick sort of flying update here. I've literally not that long got back at all, so I'm really quite sort of, um, but it's been a fantastic time. Um, and yeah, I wish I could have been there longer. I really, really do. If anybody who's watching this gets the opportunity to go to Cars in Greece, go, because it's one of those incredible places in the world, which is not really touched by tourism and it is absolutely beautiful and i had an incredible incredible time there um and as i say absolutely privileged i traveled there um my mum and i uh really really fantastic time um my brothers and that that didn't come my nieces and nephews didn't come it's meant to be a, a family all of us together but it unfortunately these things sometimes don't just work out do they um and in the end i went with my mum and you know what? i think we're going to make it a, an annual a yearly thing now on the anniversary of my nan um and what would have been her birthday and i think yeah like a really 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 lovely, treasured time, and um, yeah, I'd like to think my nan's up above smiling over that. Um, so yes, so a line of number 11, 12 tomorrow, I know it's a bit of a cheat, I'm afraid, I should have done it before, um, but do you know what, the whole period of a line of 11, no problems at all, smooth going, results incredible, um, yeah, really, really love that, and um, yeah, all good, all positive, so yeah. The only thing I haven't mentioned, I don't think, is, of course, um, oh, yes, and I had my, just actually, as I was going over onto 11, I had my checkup with my, uh, the, um, I don't know what you call it, um, so the dental specialist who's managing my treatment, um, who, funny enough, is the same person who was looking after my treatment when I first had them, um, about 10 years ago now. So, uh, and he was very, very pleased. Um, he did say if they weren't exactly how I wanted, we could have a discussion about having a few more aligners after, but he didn't think that was going to be um, an issue, but potentially just to let me know if there was something which was bothering me at all. But I'm perfectly happy with it, so I probably won't be pursuing that at all. Um, so 14, I think, would be enough for me. I think I've got about is it eight weeks, somewhere around there, I think, uh, maybe even less um, left. So, no, two for 12, two, so. 13, 14, 2, 4, 6, can't be, can't be 6 weeks, anyway, around that time period, give or take a week or so, um, yeah, so looking forward to aligner number 12, really, really looking forward to that, to see what results number 12 will bring, um, of course, I manage it, usually I don't have the appointments, I manage it on the dental monitoring app, and it gives you a mouthpiece, and it goes on your phone, and this clicky camera thing, have a look at uh, aligner clips 1, 2, and 3, I think I show it in there as well, so really, really good, um, I will probably show that on aligner 12, because I haven't shown that one for a little while, and really great app, if there's any problems at all, it goes through to my dental specialist who's managing my treatment. Um, they look at my scans all the time, and then they say yes or no if I can move on to number 12. So tomorrow I will be doing my scan, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it will go well, and I can go on to aligner number 12. If you do have any questions at all for me, please leave them down below. I'll do my utmost best to get back to you as quickly as possible. Although right now, I'm going to be jumping in to get in and all my things back into place for work and then sort of from holiday you know what it's like when you've been away absolutely well up in the air um but yes yeah so please do ask me any questions at all uh even if it's not about this clip love connecting with people love answering people's questions if it's about anything else please 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 do not worry leave me your comments and i will do my utmost best to get back to you as quickly as possible thank you very very much for being here thank you very very much for uh watching this clip and if you're still here bless you and until next time i'll be seeing you 
then. Okay, God bless and see you then. Bye for now.